I'm in Nanjing Metro. Nanjing was the capital for six dynasties. But did you know that it also has the world's sixth longest metro line? It's also the first city in China to use 5G for its metro system. But what has 5G brought to the metro? Let's find out! In 2020, Nanjing China Unicom made bold innovations. They built a 5G metro private network and edge computing nodes in the Nanjing Metro Depot, completed a series of application verification tests, and enabled 5G technology capabilities in the smart rail transportation network. Now, we are at Nanjing Metro's depot, where trains go through maintenance. Workers in this area wear a 5G-enabled helmet, like this one. This helmet has a 5G module that allows for real-time visualization of the video signal of this camera in front. It also allows for real-time localization. A train is equipped with many sensors which generate a large amount of real-time data about its air conditioners, pantographs and wheel sets among others. Nanjing Metro runs for long hours every day and to ensure safety, it is important to check the data of the train's current status. Now 5G makes real-time data possible while the train is running, so there can be intelligent operations and maintenance. Let's learn what value can real-time data uploading bring. In addition to data of the running train itself, there is a large amount of data of traction control logs. Security cameras and displays are placed in every car of the train. Previously, this data was manually copied and downloaded. It took a long time, and USB ports broke now and then. There were also other problems, such as the delayed data transmission of a breakdown. Now, Nanjing Metro lines communicate with the big data platform through 5G. The high bandwidth and low latency of 5G enables fast downloads. It used to take a few hours to manually copy the data of a train, but now, thanks to 5G, they can get it remotely in real time at high speed. Nanjing Metro also uses a data analysis server. With it, dozens of gigabytes of data per day for a single train can be downloaded and transferred within a few minutes, which is nearly 20 times faster than 4G. You might be curious about how this real-time data transmission is achieved, so let's go to the tracks and discover it. These are 5G leaky cables. Now, Nanjing subway system has full 5G coverage. These leaky cables carry 5G signals and ensure passing trains receive 5G, which also supports for real-time data backup. If the control system is interfered with or disconnected, 5G networks can be used as a backup. These 4K high-definition cameras developed by Huawei help to monitor the tracks, so if something unusual happens, it can be solved in real time. This is a new application to Nanjing Metro, 5G cluster-based devices. Traditional cluster-based devices only allow for voice communication, but thanks to 5G large bandwidth, this device can also allow video calls between train stations. This makes communications more convenient and increases efficiency at work. There are also many 5G applications in Nanjing Metro. After the upgrade of the automatic fare collection system, the time for passengers to scan the code and enter has been reduced considerably. Escalators are connected with the 5G network. Once there is a dangerous situation, it can give an early warning to avoid accidents. In addition to security management and monitoring of train cars, the 5G integrated monitoring system also connects with smoke detectors installed in equipment rooms to assure the safety of the train station. Nanjing Metro is supporting the daily operations of the city in a smarter way. It's almost midnight and Nanjing Metro lines are winding down. The city will be asleep soon. It's time to conduct checks on the tracks and pantographs. In the near future, this job will be done by 5G autonomous robots so the workers can get off work earlier. 
our journey to the 5G smart metro is coming to an end. Good night.